other parts also. They are forced to be in the home or they are forced to sit in a particular place for, to collect the bleeding. So they are really terrible pressure for women. But we are very lucky that we have different products that we can use. I hope all the women, all the girls in the world will able to reach the products now we are using for, for menstrual bleeding. Hello, this is Dr. Ebrunal. I am cosmetic gynecologist working in my cosmetic gynecology clinic here in Istanbul. Today, we will talk about menstrual cups, tampons or pads. Which one is suitable for you? We find a very nice video. I really enjoyed it while working. It is a very primary work that teach tampon pads or cups, menstrual cups to, be, to young girls. And while we are watching it, I will make some comments and give you some more detailed information about each of it so that you will get more benefit while using it. Let's start our reaction video then. Oh my gosh, have you heard what she said to her? I would have told him. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Oh, oh, what should I do? What should I do? Oh, it's soaking wet. About the starting part, introduction of the video, we start with each other and we couldn't understand why they make that command for the phone going inside the water, make that terrible, make that reaction that she is very in a very terrible situation. So I don't think having a menstrual cycle is that much bad because before a period starts, you have spotting a couple of days or one day before. So you understand that you start to have period. Very few women may feel that it is very wet underneath, very wet when their first menstrual bleeding starts. But in general, you know one, one day before with the, with the spotting uh, sign that you will have periods. So I, did, I don't support this very heavy bleeding if they make it identical to the phone fall in the water. So it will not be that bad. But in second day or third day, yes, it might be really bad and you need tampon pads or cups for your period. Pads, tampons, and cups are useful products for those who have their periods. I think in the video they use a gender neutral identity for the tampons, pads, for the cartoons they use. In some of them they use male, but I would prefer them female. Even I prefer my car or my computer to uh, behave like female because we females are really under very bad, unfortunately, pressure. In the world we are under pressure, unfortunately with the male dominancy. So I don't want to see male everywhere. <laughs> this is girl's area, this is girl's area. Each product is used to absorb menstrual fluid. A menstrual pad is used by placing the pad on the inside of a person's underwear, where it can absorb the menstrual fluid as it leaves the vagina. Pads come in a variety of sizes, and each pad should only be used once. It is recommended that a menstrual pad be changed at least every three to four hours. Yes, we are very lucky that this time of the whole world, of the history, we are able to use different kind of things for our menstrual bleeding. I know that in Africa or in some other parts of the world, women are suffering really bad from the menstrual bleeding and some of them forced to sit in the home in Pakistan, in Afghanistan or in other parts also. They are forced to be in the home or they are forced to sit in a particular place for, to collect the bleeding. So they are really terrible pressure for women. But we are very lucky that we have different products that we can use. I hope all the women, all the girls in the world will be able to reach the products now we are using for, for menstrual bleeding. I know some companies like Lulipresse, Orchid do the work like giving free pets to girls in some schools, in low socioeconomic places to schools, uh, girls, they are helping and I hope this will increase. Maybe you and I or all of us will help them so that they can reach this kind of products easily. Here they say um, it needs to be, uh, the pets needs to be changed every three to four hours. Actually, this is a very frequent, it can be stay there for six hours. Uh, Actually, this is frequent than normal. It, it can be six hours between the pets changing because if it is not full, because it is only three hours you change it, it is not a good thing because this time uh, the world is getting dirty with the products we use. So trying to limit the products every cycle, I think is very important. This way we can protect our world from the plastic or other products that is not absorbable. Okay, let's continue. After a person is done using a pad, they should wrap it in toilet paper and dispose of it in a trash can. Pads should not be flushed down the toilet. 
<laughs> the face of the man is really, really characteristic. So please don't throw your pets into the toilet. That is very important. I really agree that. And it is a very simple action that you will do. You will not put it in the toilet. You will put it in the garbage dar. Menstrual cups are for internal use and are inserted. In you know, menstrual cups are popular for the last five years. Before that, I was using menstrual pads also. So by time, using menstrual pads may cause you allergy. The contact dermatitis, we call it. Because the product they use for the menstrual pads, it has bleaching agent, it has, you know, petrol artifacts, oil artifacts, which may cause irritation by time in the vulva, in the skin, and causes itching. So I was one of the sufferers of that till I find out the menstrual cup. And it is almost five minutes maybe seven years that it has started to be in the market. Now it is very popular. It is very good for the earth also because industrial garbage, industrial pollution will not will be decreased by the While you are choosing the size of the menstrual cup, you need to pay attention to your birth size. If you didn't give birth before, you can use the small size. If you give one or two babies, you can have medium or large size. So before you start to use the menstrual cup, you need to wash your hands and then fold it in your fingers and then push it in. It is very easy to use and you can keep it up to 10 hours, 12 hours in the vagina. So you can go around dry, do your daily works and it, it's really life-saving and it will not, as I say, pollute the earth. Out of the vagina. There are directions inside the box that will explain how to insert a menstrual cup. Cups do not come with an applicator. A person will need to be comfortable touching their vagina in order to effectively insert and remove it. Cups must be changed and cleaned every 12 hours and are reusable for up to a year. You can use it more than a year because um, you use it only three, four days a month. So it can take longer a, to be expired to get watched because most are silicone and it is not very easy to destroy it. Maybe more than three years, five years, how long it will continue. You can use a, a menstrual cup. It is very easy. It is very effective way of collecting your blood and, and it is also cheap. You only buy one product and you can continue it for years. You can use it for years. Tampons are for internal use and are inserted inside of the vagina. They absorb menstrual fluid as it is being released, before it leaves the vagina. Each tampon should be used only once and must be changed every four to six hours or sooner if it is full. Some tampons come with applicators and some do not. So tampons are very really easy to use also. Uh, the only thing is they have the chemicals because they use whitening agents for the cotton or the other products they use in the tampon. So it may cause itching or burning sensation. Some women may not tolerate tampons because their pelvic muscle, vaginal pelvic muscle around the vagina may be very tight or sensitive. But other than that, for most of the women, 99% of the women may use it easily. So it absorbs the blood inside and then it gets heavier and then it pull, fall down or you can pull it out and change with the new one. Uh, the thing is women, uh, for example, in their menstrual period, they may need to be in the seaside. They may, they may want to swim or they may want to go to pool. Tampon is not a good solution during that period because it will absorb the pool water or sea water and it will be heavy and come off. But you can use menstrual cup and it will be hygienic for the environment where you swim also because your blood will not go out from your vagina. Feel most comfortable trying. Tampons also come in different sizes. If it is your first time trying a tampon, try the slim or thin tampons. The box may say for a light menstrual flow. So it, there is a string in the tampon and please be sure that you need to keep a tampon only six hours in your body, in your vagina. Otherwise, it may cause toxic shock syndrome, which is a very, which is a life-threatening syndrome. It is an infection and it may, the toxin of the bacteria may pass to your bloodstream and causes death of the woman. So you need to be very cautious how frequent you change it and if you change it or not. If you because sometimes women may forget to pull it out and put the new one. So that is very important. If you drink alcohol, if you are not, for example, oriented, don't try to change your tampon, keep it. So two, three hours later, you can take it out. If you are drinking alcohol and you will not be oriented for a while, six hours, 10 hours, don't use tampon that period. 
uh, use pads or menstrual cups because it may be dangerous for you. I hope all the women in the world will able to reach this kind of products now we are using and I hope menstrual bleeding will not be a pressure for a woman. We will be free and active as a male during our menstrual period. Hope to see you in the next video. Come and enjoy Istanbul. All the best.